Hello, I'm Sir Jeff. And for now, I'm going to show you how to solve for the distance of the epicenter from the station. Now, for example, we have three recording stations, namely Batangas, Puerto Princesa, and Dabao. Now, we also have the time difference in the arrival time of P-Wave and S-Wave in seconds. So, for Batangas, we have 44.8. For Puerto Princesa, we have 32 seconds. And for Dabao, we have 38.4. Now, we're going to solve for the distance of the epicenter from the station. And then later on, we're going to convert that into centimeters. Okay, so for us to solve the distance of the epicenter from the station, we're going to use the formula D equals TD times 100 kilometers all over 8 seconds. So D stands for distance and TD stands for the time difference in the arrival of P-wave and S-wave in seconds. Now, we're going to use 8 seconds because that is the interval between the times of arrival of the P-wave and S-wave at a distance of 100 kilometers. So, balik tayo sa example natin kanina. Ang number 1 natin is Batangas. So, ang given doon, Batangas is 44.8 seconds. Okay, so we will use the formula D equals DD times 100 kilometers over 8 seconds. So we have D equals 44.8 seconds times 100 kilometers over 8 seconds. So we have 4,000 480 So pwede na makancel natin si second Kilometer over 8 So what is 4,480 kilometers Divided by 8 So we have 4,480 Divided by 8 So we have 5 We have 6 We have 0 so, 4,480 kilometers divided by 8. So, our answer for Batangas is 560 kilometers. So, kung lalagyan natin sa table, ang magiging sagot natin sa Batangas is 560. Okay. okay. For our next item, we have Puerto Princesa, so which is part of Palawan. So, ang given naman natin din is 32 seconds. So, again, we're going to use the formula D equals DD times 100 kilometers and over 8 seconds. So, ang nangyari is 32 seconds times 100 kilometers and over 8 seconds. So, pwede na rin natin cancel in seconds. So, we have 3,200 kilometers divided by 8. So, 3,200 kilometers divided by 8 is 400 kilometers. So, ilalagay na rin natin siya sa table. So, we have 400 kilometers for Puerto Princesa. So, we're going to solve for Dabao. So, for Dabao naman, we have 38.4 seconds. So, the same thing with Batangas and Puerto Princesa. We're going to use the formula D equals TD times 100 kilometers on over 8 seconds. So, we have 38.4 seconds times 100 kilometers over 8 seconds. So the same with the 2, pwede natin cancel in si second. So we have 3,840 kilometers divided by 8. So what is 3,840 divided by 8? So 3,840 divided by 8. So we have 4. So we have 64 divided by 8 is 8. Then we have... Zero. So we have 480 
kilometers for Dabaw. So, kapag nilagyan natin sa table, ang Dabaw is 480 kilometers. Now, kukonvert natin sila sa centimeter. Okay, so for now, we're going to convert distance of epicenter from the station na kilometers kanina centimeters para magamit naman natin sa triangulation method. So, ang scale na ibinigay sa example na to is for every 100 kilometers is 1 centimeter. So, for example, sa Batangas, sagot natin kanina is 560 kilometers. So, ang mangyari, it is more on ratio and proportion sa math. So, gamitin na rin natin. So, 560 kilometers is 2 how many centimeters if 100 kilometers is 1 centimeter. So, we're going to multiply 560 with 1 centimeter and then divide it by 100 kilometers. So, pwede natin cancel si kilometers. So, matitrace 560 centimeters divided by 100. That's equal to 5.6 centimeters. So, the same thing with Puerto Princesa. It's 400 kilometers times 1 centimeter over 100 kilometers. So, 400 centimeters divided by 100 equals 4 centimeters. And last, ang Dabao. So, 480 kilometers ang sagot natin kanina. So, 480 kilometers is to how many centimeters if 100 kilometers is to 1 centimeter. So, 480 times 1 divided by 100 kilometers. So, cancel na rin si kilometers. So, 480 centimeters divided by 100 equals 4.8 centimeters. So, yung table natin, you can see yung Batangas natin. So, 5.6, Puerto Princesa, 4, and Dabao, 4.8. So, yung mga palyong yan, yan ang gagamitin natin sa ating next na gagawin, which is find the epicenter of an earthquake using triangulation 